coming to you tonight from Portland, Oregon. It's a little bit rainy and cold out. It's about 11 o'clock at night while everyone out is out uh, sleeping in the warm beds. I'm about to go start a floor job. Basically going to be uh, degreasing a floor and then putting some wax on it, making it shine. We're at a nice tap house and they serve some of uh, Portland's finest beers. So we're going to go in and take care of that. Anyway, guys, let's go on inside and I'll show you what I got going on. All right, so we're gonna be scrubbing all these floors and then uh, vacuuming up all the water and waxing it, doing all that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. All right, I forgot to show you the scrubbing part. Now, I'm uh, gonna rinse. Alright, so I'm getting ready to lay the wax on this floor and I remembered a quote that I heard earlier and it said, it's one thing to study war and another thing to live a warrior's life. So if you're watching these videos and you really, you know, want to become an entrepreneur, figure out a way to do it. Figure out what would work best for you in your life. Figure out what would be easy, what requires very little capital. What skills can you learn quickly or what do you already have? Who do you know that's already in the business? You just make that list and analyze it and put one step in front of the other and you just never give up. And you're gonna fail and then you get up and you keep going and eventually you're scrubbing floors, living the dream. see that little path that I left so I could come back and grab my camera after the time lapse and the floor sight that it takes to make these videos it's ridiculous there it is guys um, I got to do three more coats but basically it'll look just like this but a little bit more shiny all right just finished up got the third coat on this floor is super shiny you can see the reflection in there when these people come in in the morning and the Sun's coming up it's really gonna be shiny and nice which is cool because this floor was so old that it didn't have any shine to it left at all. And I don't even know if the current business owner, the current tenant of this building even knows what the floor is supposed to look like when it's properly maintained. She's been here for about three years, but I don't know what was here before that. And I don't know what the floor looked like when she moved in. So when she comes in, um, she's going to be very surprised. I don't think that she's expecting this. Um, I kind of keep it really low key and I don't make any huge promises. And when people come in and they see that their floors like look brand new after they were really old and greasy, um, it surprises them and they want to keep on working with me. So I'll give her a call in about three to three to six months and see if she's ready for me to come out again, depending on her schedule and finances and all that stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be a customer for life. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys next time.